St. Michael's Church in Twerton needs your help. Over the next two months, we're looking to raise £100,000 to help us to begin a journey of renewal, restoration and rebuilding of our main church site. It's taken us a long time to get to this point, and we know that there is a long road ahead of us. But this summer, we'll be taking our first steps on a journey we can't do on our own. St. Michael's is one of the longest histories of any church in the city of Bath, and a church has gathered here for worship on this site for over a thousand years. 130 years ago, the local mill owner gifted Twerton a completely new church, totally reordered the old building, the churchyard and the surrounding land, ready for a new century. It was a beautiful and generous gift to the community. But now, as the economy of Twerton has declined and the age of the building has caught up with it, virtually every aspect of its fabric and structure needs attention. The days of fixing and making do have come to an end and the building now requires a complete overhaul and renewing, renewal. Leaking roofs, porous walls, rotten, uneven floors, temperamental heating and outdated electrics all need urgent attention. Over the last five years as a church family, we've had many discussions and conversations about how to address these problems and challenges. And at times, they have felt overwhelming to us. All along, we've been investing in mission and disciple making and seen our church family grow younger. Our desire to reach out and respond to the multiple needs of our community has kept us looking outwards. Our natural instinct as a church family is to spend money on people rather than buildings. But at the end of 2015, after much debate and listening and, and prayer, the PCC agreed unanimously that a new plan was needed for our whole site. One that would not only solve the problems we've been facing, but also enable us to unlock and open up the site in the heart of our community for everyone and to make it ready to take us into the next hundred years. And so we asked our architect to help us develop such a plan. Many hours have gone into refining the ambitious and exciting design that's been produced. Hours of consultation and discussion, site visits and design work, and a complete vision for the renewal, repair and renovation of the existing buildings, focusing not just on the envelope of the building, but also how to sensitively and develop Re and reorder the internal spaces, has been combined with a vision for the creation of new spaces that maximise the dimensions of the plot and sensitively open up the whole site in order to make it dramatically more accessible to everyone in our community and to maximise its potential for mission, discipleship, community and worship. Our vision for the future of our church is shaped by the description of the Kingdom of God we see in the life of Jesus and in the pages of Scripture. We want to see lives changed and transformed and our whole community impacted for good and blessed by our common life together. We are inheritors of this wonderful set of buildings on this beautiful site and we believe that we must work together to make sure that this not only survives into the future but becomes even more helpful in our mission to draw people into the kingdom of God and to see our community transformed. We know that the task we face will take time to complete and we believe that now is the time to start on this project. So we're going to start fundraising in a new way and we need your help. We want to create a sense of momentum and optimism about the future possibilities. And so at the end of August, in just a couple of months time, we'll be taking our, our first steps in all of this, removing the pews from the centre of the church, dramatically opening up the space, laying a carpet over the whole floor, tying everything together and repositioning the radiators around the walls ready for winter. These changes will not be the final layout of the church by any means, but they will help us to get on our way. As we put our effort into fundraising for the whole project, we want to open up the church more throughout the week to create more flexibility for different kinds of activities and events and begin to tell our story with the wider community and the wider city, giving everyone a vision to join in with. We seek the renewal and restoration of people's lives in Twerton. We believe that renewing and restoring the building is part of the way that God will enable us to see this become a reality. So we will not be afraid of the future, but instead let us work together to embrace a new way of being church here, not just for us, but also for our children's children.